In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple trick that I think makes your um, your gun tight offset out of the Saints playbook super, super glitchy, super, super effective. It's really good, especially if you have a good tight end in Mutt. We're going to dive right in here. Now, if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, my channel posts new videos every single day that are designed to simply help you become a better Madden player. I try to learn as much as I can about the game through studying other players, through practicing myself, and through learning from my losses. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about the New Orleans Saints offense. I've been getting those questions pretty much all season long. It's like every week somebody asks, when are you going to do a Saints offensive scheme when are you going to do a saints offensive scheme and while the saints playbook is not necessarily the meta um this year i actually think that it could be um there's a lot of really good things that i didn't know about in this playbook and i want to talk about one in particular play at a tight offset tight end and that's the play bench and i'm going to show how this goes hand in hand with the play uh mesh spot so i'm going to put mesh spot on my audibles and i'm going to come out in the play bench and what you're going to notice about this tight offset, one of the things that I thought was very fascinating is that when you flip the formation, the only thing that flips is the running back. The receivers stay the same. They don't move. Okay? So you can kind of do some things with this. Now, we, we, we probably uh, remember Mesh Spot and how I like to motion the tight end over and basically put him on a streak and essentially turn this into gun bunch Z spot with maybe something on the backside like a curl flat or something like that. And it's a very effective concept. It works really, really, really well. Now, uh, this is a nice little counter play to that play. Okay, so this is something you can pair with it. This is Bench. And if you take a look at Robert Tunyon here, you're going to notice that I can smart route his route, and it's going to turn him into that same sharp cutting slant out type of route. Now, if you wanted to, if you were on the left hash, you could run this to the right and essentially run this exactly like Z spot, right? You could do this, motion bow to scantling over, have something like this going on. You know, what I would do is, is I would do this right here. This would be my setup every single time. And this is a very good setup. Like, this route to Tunyon is very, very good. But let's take it a step further and talk about why this is really good um, as a counter to the other play. It's the same exact motion. So if I wanted to take Tunyon and motion him to the left, I can streak Austin. And then I could take the running back and put him on a curl flat, or a, I'm sorry, an option route or a check and release. And then I could do something like this right here. And this looks very familiar to the tight end corner play out of the bunch tight end, which I've talked about exclusively in my ebook. But anyways... Um, here we go, snap of the ball. And if you take a look here, Tunyon gets wide open against pretty much every defense in the game. Um, it's a it's a sharper cutting route than you like actually realize until you play against it. Um, but basically, what is going on is again just simply smart routing. It's actually I think sharper than some of those some of those like Z spot. Like if you were to motion over Z spot, I don't think it's a. This is a sharper slant route. So. It's a little bit sharper. See how he gets like a little little speed boost there? Now, granted, he doesn't get over the zone drops. Like if they drop their zones to 30, he doesn't quite get over them. But what I want you to know is you can easily pass lead underneath them. Okay? So let's say they're in zone drops. And on the right side, they're Mabeling. And they're using in the middle. Right? And they pass Tunyon off. Take a look at this right here. Pass lead down and away. Click on. And as you can see there, I can make that possession catch. The other thing that I really like about this is, again, the turbo, the speed boost that he gets on this route. It's different than most of these types of routes. It's I don't know if it's just a Saints thing. It's probably not. But this in particular route, when he comes from the tight end position, he's not only not bumpable. Look how much separation he gets. That's against, a, that's against Darnell Savage. That's against Darnell Savage that he's getting that much separation. So my point is you can use this motion over, um, and I think it makes a lot of sense. Now, this you can also do a combo like this right here. This is really good against zone because when you put a flat in combination with an in route to the running back, it really pulls the zones out of the way. The running back can really work the underneath. Like This is probably one of my favorite combos in the entire game right now because it's such a simple read. They're going to have to use Artunian. If they don't use him all the way through, that's going to be wide open, which is then going to in turn leave the curl route wide open for you to be able to hit as well. So 
gun tight is really good um it's it's something that i've been meaning to get into all season long i just have put it off and put it off and put it off and as i'm getting into it i'm realizing like there's some really glitchy stuff in this offense like this route is super super good now obviously you can run it to tunyon but even more even cooler the beauty of the tight is you can flip it and again only one player moves so i could do this right here and now I've got Devontae Adams running the curl flat route, and that, that allows me to really take advantage of my personnel. But look at that super fast speed boost he gets, pass lead it to the left, click on, secure catch. Like, this play is very, very tough uh, to defend. Now let's say, for example, that they are running the cover two um, zone drops. Um, let me do that real quick. So zone drops from a cover two defense. And let me put this guy just in like a, let me just put this guy in like a, a, I don't even know what this guy can do. Let's just put him in, um, let's just put him in a spy. Okay. So now what I want you to notice is again, bench. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. The running back moves. Okay. Now again, the running back moves. What that means practically though, is I can still do a lot of the combos to both sides of the field. It's just, you know, the running back simply moves. So again, you can still do a lot of the combos. That's what's nice about the tight offset. But if you look here, watch Devontae Adams. Watch this. This is zone drops. If you run this to the wide side of the field, he's going to get over the zone drop. And Rodgers didn't have enough time in the pocket there. But he will get over a 25-yard. Um, he will he will get over a 25-yard um, a cloud flat zone relatively easily. So let me just give myself a little bit of extra time here. And I just want to show you again, bench, I'm going to flip the play, smart route Adams. And then again, I'm going to look, make it look like maybe I'm running a flood to the right, but instead I'm actually running a flood to the left side, which is, you know, again, I think that's really cool that you can kind of disguise it so well. And if you watch here again, just wait on it, pass lead it up. And that's a dot against any zone drop, any zone drop in the game. Very nice, very similar to tight end corner, very similar to curl flat from the butt or from the trips tight end. So that's a little, um, I, I think that's a really big time tip for tight offset. Like, yeah, you have two or three plays that can really um, give a lot of trouble to zone and man uh, for that matter. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the full Saints offensive scheme when it comes out, I'm not finished with it yet. But when it comes out, it will be available in my text message membership. My number is 812-216-3644. We release new videos every single day um, or, uh, on YouTube. We release new schemes every single week in our text message membership, completely free of charge to you guys, just a way that we can basically um, you know, help you guys become better Madden players. So anyways, all that to say, thanks for watching. If you want to text in, that would be great. It is my personal number as well. So if you have any questions we can talk mad in that way as well so thanks for your time and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time